We'll move on to we'll move on to terminal here. Seattle versus Carolina. So standard kind of spread for Seattle. Have bomb towards B side. From what I remember, they love banging uh, the plane on their offenses. So let's see what they do. They have people towards B side burger just to kind of like keep people honest and not instantly rotate towards A. And look at what uh, Carolina's doing here. They're doubled up playing, watching this this cross into the cockpit. So these guys towards B side are kind of standing their ground. I guess number eight here, I don't know what Clay's doing. I guess he's just watching lower plane for anyone that might be pushing like towards the outer dubs window and, and trying to come up towards, you know, the orange slide. Uh, but I'm not sure why he's like so deep over here. That's interesting. And then number seven, top third, obviously, still watching towards B if anyone came there. So TJ gets one of the kills on that cross. First blood, and let's see what Seattle does now. Oh, so number one Ender gets a kill on, who is it? Number five, who is in... He was in like this cruddy, what was it, behind the bomb, and he tries to make his way back towards the back of the plane, and Ender catches him from halls over here. So like through halls, you can actually see through the cockpit window and see through the plane. So he gets a free first blood on, on TJ trying to move. And then Kyler gets another kill. So they kind of like, I don't know, they're, they're, they move and it kind of fucks up their teamwork because technically Seattle can bang this out at any time. And they start moving. TJ gets picked for it. And then Gwyn is pushed up here. He tries to make a play, and, and Kyler catches him. So. That was a first blood for Carolina that should have been a round win. And now, you know, it's a 3v3. They get a kill towards the B side, but they're going to get the bomb down with Ender top third. So if Ender can get a kill here, that's huge. But it's still good positioning nonetheless. And he sees the guy. Yeah, he sees Clay on those boxes. They see last guy live fellow back back at like towards this tank over here towards, towards the cop park. I think actually I think he, see, he sees him, right? Maybe he doesn't see him. I thought he saw him when he jumped like that, but maybe not. So fellow actually, wow, this is a really good play by fellow. So he's the one who's like been towards this B side and he's he wrapped around all the way through the windows and is going all the way towards this like tank uh this tanker over here like water tank truck or whatever the fuck it is and he's actually going to catch Ender under the plane here so he kills Ender still bomb down though so 1v1 with Kyler bomb down here on A is just so tough because you don't, he can be playing any of these corners so now he, I, I assume that he's either checking to see if this guy's going to be cockpit, that's why he's like preaming it, or he's going to be terminal. And then Kyler checks it, shoulders it, and he's going to check once again. Makes him weak and then chows him, so really good play out of Kyler in the 1v1. losing first bloods. But then two more yeah. go the way of Surge. I think you only got, what was it, like three for, two or three first bloods? But they lost a couple of those two, rounds. They, they lost, but they lost yeah. them all. Yeah, so you, you struggled really bad with the conversion. Once again. So, yeah. I, I, I mean, that should have been the round one for Carolina, I think, with that first blood, for sure. Let's see what Carolina does on offense now. All right, double book. No one playing burger. They actually have two on Seattle playing towards the B side, two playing towards A side. They get a kill on the Dream's desks. So let's see what happens here. Two kills a piece. So it looks like... It looks like TJ is going for the wall bang, but they just chow out of... Uh, they just chow out of term. They just team chow it. So Alec goes lower towards, you know, the term steps. And Kyler comes from, you know, the front of the plane. And they just team shot him. Alec gets the kill. Free first blood. Good job out of, out of Seattle. But I'm surprised they weren't... I'm surprised Carolina wasn't expecting something like that. I guess they're just not expecting them to, to instantly channel it like that. 
looking for an opening here offensively if you're Royal Ravens. You found nothing thus far. So now they're just going to hold this steady. They love playing this little bathroom corner. So what Ender's doing here is he's watching the Dreams cross for his team. They have number five watching towards Berger. And then they're going to have like double plane, uh, making sure that the, the plane pushes good. So they can just act off any information that Ender's getting here. Is number two uh, outside of the plane right now? Or is he inside? You're looking for an opening here offensively if you're Royal Ravens. You found nothing. Okay, so he's outside the plane. He's actually he's actually lower watching the outer windows here. So that's what he's doing. So they only have one guy in the, in the back of the plane. But this is a good setup, like fine setup. They're just trying to get information here. Abuza gets one kill, and that should be the round, honestly. 4v2. Pretty hard to clear this. Let's see if they clear Ender's spot here. They try it, but it's it's just too hard of an over child that you have to you have to like really overcommit to it. And Ender gets a basically free kill and then a nice two piece to, to finish off the round. Multi kills were going their way. All right, see how this time, once again, Bomb still motioning towards the A side, but they do have three guys towards B. So kind of like a bait once again, feels like they're trying to get people to stay towards B for Carolina side so that they can rotate and, and hit out towards the plane. But Clay gets a nice first blood on Ender here, even with the smoke. So he, what they're trying to do is smoke it and he jumps up top of this little barrel to try and get a kill, but Clay can still see him, I guess. Stuff from Clayster, similar to what you got on the other side of it with TJ in the round one. You need to win this round. You have got to. So once again, this is the setup by Carolina. Like they got the first blood before, still two plane, one top third, and then Clay over here. Once again, I think he's just watching underneath the plane to make sure that they're not trying to make any plays, um, jumping out of the window or jumping out one of the, like just any of these windows and, and making plays around this area or this area, so he can see like that cross. So let's see what they do here. They're going to leave Bomb in Dreams and try and get a pick or something. Assuming, I guess, they're going to go back to kill it. Or go back to pick it up. So they kill TJ here. Inter or Sorry, Kyler slides. Gets the kill. But he gets traded right by Gwyn, who is watching over him. Alec tries to chow right again. And he actually gets the kill on Gwyn. So he's not expecting the reach out. And Alex, since he was not even weak, he can just reach out that again. So he gets the kill, but once again, they already have help from rotators. Fellow jumps off from top three to help out. And now it's a 2v1 with Abuza getting bombed from Dreams. Clay has stayed in this position. If you if you didn't know what he was doing, you'd probably think he just lagged out over here. Ref, referee reset. He's uh, he's not moving, but he's actually... He's literally, I think, just holding any of the... The lower pushes, and if they do plant B, they'll just retake it together. And actually, now he's moving towards the Eskies, so he gets a really good timing where Fellow sees him, so he starts activating here, and he's just going to instantly look towards the hallway because he knows from Fellow's teamwork. I actually kind of like term search. Uh, just because there's a few angles looking into the plane to get picks, it's not difficult to break a setup at first off. Yeah, I don't mind it, honestly. I don't think it's the best map, but I don't think it's the worst at all for this, the map set that we have right now. Realistically, could the maps that come out today be added for stage two, or is it too late? Um, I think it, it, it all depends on our esports build. If our esports build has it, it's possible, maybe. But if our esports build doesn't have it, then obviously no. But we'll see. I think I think the esports build gets updated tomorrow. It's either to today or tomorrow, so we'll see. So this is a quick B hit by Carolina this time. First, like, full-on quick B hit with Bomb. Clay gets a nice first blood. And you actually see Seattle is tripling it, too. So even though Seattle triples it, they get the first blood. Number four, Kyler is kind of playing towards his golf cart here. Let's see if they try and single him out. Oh, Kyler does get the kill, though. So, Gwyn goes for the chow. They probably, I don't know, maybe they think he's weak or something. But, or maybe he thinks he has teamwork with them. But he's, he's the only one chowing in that position because it's smoked out. So, he can't really get help from the rest of his team. Now, TJ's pushed up here. 
Number f seven fellow is towards this dream side. And he sees number four. I'm pretty sure he sees number four, but he can't shoot him because he's he's tucked up like into this like bathroom thing, right? So I think fellow's trying to find an angle. He sees him. He actually doesn't get shots off. So maybe it was a weird timing. And then TJ tries to escape, but he he's just kind of stuck here. Like, if he doesn't have someone watching over him, he's he's kind of just stuck here with them, you know, a top Eskies over here watching over. So he tries to take a timing, but unfortunately, they, they're just watching they're just watching that cross back. So once again, you know, Carolina gets a first blood, but they're in a man down situation. And then Kyler makes a play here towards Book. Once they see Fellow's Book, he just activates off of number two, you know, Alex shooting him. And then it's a 3v1. And Seattle wins. Hey, what's good, King Sugar Ray? Welcome, welcome. Alright, Seattle, once again, kind of the same thing that they did, I believe, in the first round, where it's 2 2, but they're like, they have the bomb towards the A side. So these guys are kind of little, literally just bait. To keep people towards this B side so they don't rotate early. I mean, Seattle's gonna keep going for this, right? And basically the same setup for Carolina with one guy, you know, Clay towards Eskies over here, top third, and two guys in the plane. They've been trading effectively. Has Seattle surge giving them no Clay sees people burger. Um, but once again, it's kind of just like a bait. And they're actually gonna be able to catch a you know fellow off guard. I believe he's going where's fellow right now? So fellow is low. Fellow is low red, and he's looking at the James Cross, and then he's going to actually try and hop up to top third. So this guy, number three, Abuza, goes to book as soon as he's hopping to top third. So unfortunate timing by Fellow, but, you know, he's open for that one instant second, and that's when, you know, Abuza starts making the play. So free first blood for, for Seattle here. Apparently pros are leaning away from Rio Control. Is that true? I have no idea. I'm not part of the rep chat. Okay, so this is Seattle. Once they get the first blood, they're going to try and now hit towards the A side because they already have bomb there. Kyler is going to be the first to activate, but he doesn't check cockpit, and that's where TJ is hiding. And TJ, oh, TJ I thought was going to get two-piece, but he doesn't. He, get, he gets traded out, so it's fine for Seattle. Still man advantage, 3v2. Alec picks up bomb. Now you have both of the Carolina guys still uh, towards the plane. Number eight, obviously, Clay rotated. And he's going to try and see if it can get um, positioning towards, you know, maybe mid towards B side in case they do rotate. So he sees the dreams cross. He sees Alec. I'm surprised he doesn't get this kill, but that's an important kill if he could get it. Unfortunately, he doesn't, though. He try he's going to try and nade it. Let's see, see what happens. No nade kill. So Gwyn tries to check a shallow front terminal. Fortunately, he doesn't get any kills, too. Both of them get weak, him and the other guy. And look, there's only 25 seconds left. So if they can kind of, like, play towards this A side now, they're most likely in this position going to go towards A. They have the people, you know, he saw two people at the Dreams desk. You know, even Clay saw Alec towards Dreams as well. So you could probably expect two, at, at least two are there, they know for sure. So at least two are there with 25 seconds left and no bomb down. They're probably going towards A. So Clay is going to try and take a position here where I actually really like this play. He's going to try and go towards this hallway and see if he can look through the cockpit window. Remember what we were talking about before? So he's going to try and catch people, you know, crossing into terminal or crossing from terminal into the cockpit and trying to get towards the bomb this way. So I actually really, really like this play by Clay. And Gwyn actually, let's see how Gwyn gets a kill. Gwyn gets a kill from someone going lower. So he was actually playing lower plane. And he was weak, so he was kind of just playing this little corner, making sure that he tries to at least get one for someone who might be hitting out towards the low plane uh, with this hit by Seattle. And he does get one on, uh, who is it? He does get one on Abuza. And then look at what Clay is going to do here. Clay can look, but actually really good play by Ender. So Ender even picks this up. So he's thinking that it's a possibility that this, you know, the thing that Clay is doing could happen. And he picks this up. So really, I mean, honestly, really good play by Ender for picking up. I thought it was a good play by Clay, but it actually is a good play by Ender as well for, for noticing it, it could be a possibility. And then Gwyn's just in a 1v2. They're planning bomb. Let's see if he, no, he doesn't get the kill in cockpit. So the cockpit kill was the only way that he was possibly going to win this round. 
and Ender gets that. So actually, you know, really good plays by Ender that round. Fucking actually save that round. Because if no one picks that up, then Clay probably gets at least one or two. You nail it there. Ellie has been the closer with the big gunfights. The big kill on the Clay. A different work with one spot. Get him. He checked out. I'm guessing Clay saw something where he's thinking maybe something. All right. Here, another B battle. So, Carolina tripling B out. Um, Seattle doing the same thing where they're tripling B as well. But I am assume, like, one guy is going to go towards, you know, you know this golf cart like Kyler usually does or towards like front bathroom over here and watch the dream cross they, that's what they've been doing this whole time and then they're gonna solo plane with Alex so let's see what Carolina does here they have uh, the bomb guy in books and actually Abuza does get a first blood here so let's see what what happens here so they actually get a kill on Gwyn he's just he's just crossing into P1 so Abuza crosses really quick you know he exit out of the escalators and and then just quickly crosses to bomb and, and has that angle on Gwyn and then as you see here, once again, Kyler playing this little bathroom spot. He loves this, but he's actually going to get pushed up. So instead of just continuing to stay pushed in this little corner over here and watch the cross, because they got a first blood, I guess, he's going to try and see if he can make a play. So he gets a good timing on book. No one in book side. So he's, he's getting pushed up here, and now he can see if anyone's rotating from B side to A uh, by holding this cross over here. So... Abuza actually gets another kill. So let's see how he gets another kill on TJ right here. So, oh, this is actually really good. Oh, so, okay, never mind. My apologies. It's Kyler who's who's the one that crosses towards the B side. So Kyler doesn't have the angle on him. And it's Abuza on the right side of the escalators that has the angle. So Abuza just chows him right away. Yeah, chows him straight up. And then he's just going to go prone on the right side of this flower, uh, like this flower pot or flower heady, whatever you want to call it. And he's just proned, and he's just waiting for TJ. So TJ doesn't win that gunfight either. Abuza gets a two-piece. So that's my apologies. I thought it was Abuza that had crossed and like somehow got an angle this way, but it was actually him on the right side of the flowers. And then Kyler, as we were talking about before, once that second kill goes down, he's going to try and activate and make a play on anyone burger. So he gets Clay weak, going to try and nade him out too. See if that finishes him off. It doesn't. So he's going to stay pushed up in one of these corners now. He's just going to play Creddy here. And at this point, Seattle's just making Carolina try and make a play. So they're still backing Clay off down over here. Let's see if Fellow can do anything towards Dreamside. Probably not because Kyler has this cross. Really good play at a, at a Fellow knowing that it's a possibility. Because this is, honestly, it is a common spot for people watching this you know rotation towards the a side so you do see this getting cleared a lot uh but good good job on tyler fellow you know clearing it in the moment and it's a it's a good kill unfortunately he does get traded but you know good clear nonetheless he would have died from kyler regardless and then seattle surge win the round so just really good job out of booza there in, the, in that round for getting for getting two right at the beginning so five one lead now once again, kind of the same thing. 2-2 two, two, where they have bomb motioning towards A. They're keeping people honest towards this B side by playing in burger. And in this in this round, they're actually not uh, doubling plane necessarily. They're they're playing like low plane or, or actually what is... Oh, TJ's actually playing on the little... Uh, what is it? Balcony type thing. You know, you have that jump that you can jump up to these double windows. So he's he's trying to push play on this on this balcony. Feel like Clay and Fellow were so split there. Yeah, they were split, but honestly, you know, in a, in a four v two like that, it's it's hard. They're just trying to get a pick on either side of the site. But I mean, yeah, you could say they they could have played together, but regardless, they're probably losing the round. Honestly, it's it's hard to make a play um, with how how much you can watch on this map. But yeah, sure, you could say you can say that Fellow shouldn't have you know started moving until Clay was with him. Sure. But they're just trying to—they're just trying to create an opening, honestly. So TJ's playing this ratty like balk spot. Let's see if he can find anyone. So actually, what goes down on the B side is, let's see here. Clay gets number one weak Ender, but actually Abuz is in this tight right corner. I guess they never saw him cross towards this corner. Maybe they smoked it out. Actually, no, they couldn't have smoked out because Clay because Kyler's their smoke player. So the, he just gets super pushed up in this corner. This is something that you really need to tack out, especially in like high level play. But they don't see number three cross into this deep corner, so they're not expecting it. So this is honestly just a good play by, by Abuza to get 
pushed up in this corner. He gets a free first blood on, on Fellow. Fellow doesn't think that he would have this uh, this angle on him. And then Clay tries to go for the trade, but Ender is still there for that trade. So just trades go down B side. Seattle wins the trade battle. They're three v two up. I mean, you're in a two on two, and they're winning the position. I mean, even over towards B, the trade. And then since TJ, as I said before, was on this back spot, he can make a play. So instead of just watching his little terminal across here, so instead of watching like through this little doorway, what he's going to do is just try to make a play around through the window towards Dreams and see if we can get a free first or a free pick because, you know, in this situation, once again, you kind of have to try and make a play 2v3 uh, on defense here. And he does that. So he, he gets a free kill on Alec here. So it's a really, really ratty, nice play by TJ. He actually gets bombed down. I don't know if they know if, if they know bombed down, but he doesn't check the terminal, unfortunately, and Kyler just gets the trade. So if he looks right here, he gets a two-piece. But he's probably uh, occupied by number one, who's like watching this cross. I'm surprised he doesn't check. You know, I'm surprised he just doesn't tech towards his right just to at least check for terminal. But unfortunately, he does get traded there. Now two v one for. Seattle, again, a man advantage situation for them. And Ender just sees Gwyn bottom plane here from top third. And he gets the kill. And that's a 6-1 that's a clean terminal search for Seattle.